Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to import pictures from a uh, camera card or some other place. Now, if it doesn't come up automatically, you can click import while being in the uh, Lightroom. And on the left, you will see all the different places. So you can import from a folder on your computer by browsing to that folder. So if you know uh, you have some old photos you want to get into this uh, new Lightroom system, uh, you can do that. And you can tell it to act differently. Um, you can tell it to leave in place uh, or copy to your working drive. Now, uh, I am going to be copying from my camera card, which is an SD card in the L drive. And it says here that I've got two photos in there. I've got um, these works from um, uh, Patty Stewart. And we've got her um, painting for her children's book and uh, this little uh, three-dimensional chicken. So... Anyway, I'm going to um, tell both of these to go in. Now, notice that when I have the camera or car reader, I don't have the option to add or move because it knows that that's the type of, of uh, drive that is temporary. You know, you eject them all the time, so they expect you to copy them. Now, you can copy them or you can copy them as a DNG. Now, copying them is going to just make a duplicate of RW2 file, which mine was created with a... Um, uh, DMC, a Panasonic Lumix DMC G3, uh, or you can tell it to copy as a DNG. Let's say you were taking your pictures to um, someone else and you weren't sure if they had the latest version of these softwares. If you use a DNG, it's a little easier because uh, DNG is most likely going to be able to be read. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do a regular copy and whenever you have the copy uh, option open you want to look down on the right here because now you're going to have a destination. So it's going to do the standard previews but it's going to ask me where to put them and I want to put them not on my C drive but on my working drive. So I could tell it to go into my working folder and it's going to put them into um, a date and what it's going to do here is it says organize by date and it's going to have another sub date. I can also tell it to hey go into a particular folder if I wanted to. And this is a way you can um, copy it in. So I'm going to tell it to put the date as the bottom one here which is just 2014 0609. So it doesn't actually have a year in there. And that way it'll fit right into my scheme here as, hey, this was on the um, 27th of February. And I'm going to go ahead and tell it to import. Uh, once I do, I should have those in. And if I go into my folders here, I should have that folder, 227, and there they are. And that's how you get files from an SD card or some other part of your hard drive into your Lightroom uh, library and that catalog as well as into the working folder for your hard drive. 